Hi, welcome to the new video. Today I'm doing some uh, skeleton and some biomechanic background. I'm starting with the uh, skeleton. It's a three-part stencil. Um, our colors, as always, are black and white as opaque colors, and the rest are transparent candies. And the painting surface is um, a chromolux paper. And on the right side you can see um, I've done a bike with this design. So now I'm going to show you how I've done this. So this was the first um, grey of the skeleton. Now I'm doing the full white. So there you have the uh, skeleton. On the bike I have done everything in uh, blue tones. And now I'm doing um, a green piece. So I'm now using uh, a light brown, which is like 90% yellow and 10% purple for the uh, base color of the skeleton. And everything that's yellow a little bit dries less quick so I use a, a hair and a, um, some uh, device that creates hot air to dry everything and uh, I have now covered the skeleton and I'm doing the background again I'm using the, the white and I paint everything in a grey tone. And also to create a little more structure, I'm now using um, the airbrush with really no air and just uh, uh, moving the trigger to create small dots. So now come the highlights to everything in the in the stencil. And I have to admit that like <laughs> On the bike I painted it like 50 times and everything went smooth but here I'm the uh, stencil is a few millimeters off so now I'm just Flipping the stencil around and I'm doing the same pattern on the other side. And I'm repeating the whole steps again. So, uh, white with less opacity to create a grey and some small dots with really low air and the highlights And there you have like a nice and uh, highly detailed background. And now I can add some color to this. From the bike I used dark blue and a light blue. Now I'm using, I will use a, a green and a yellow.
and you have the um, you can also um, separate the working uh, waste so you can uh, make the green um, you can paint the green after the first gray and then you apply the white and then you can uh, paint everything in yellow so you have like more brighter highlights now this is a dark blue to create like dark green tones now I'm using some black for some shadows and then I'm using the yellow Okay, so before I use the yellow eye, like I said, I am doing some highlights again. So if you do this right after the gray, you, you paint it in the in the darker color, and then you apply the white and the lighter color, then you can skip this um, working step. So now I will use the yellow and you see the, the highlights I did with white. Now I'll get the yellow color and the darker green in the background. Also get the yellow and you get like a nice color that, that you can also create with, with other colors. So like I said, I use on the bike I like dark blue and uh, light blue. But also you can use like if you uh, use red tones or something like this, you can like uh, paint the first step with a dark red and then with an orange, and you get also really nice effects. To create some more highlights in the skeleton, I'm just applying the last white stencil and. Um, painting some stuff there in white. Not everything full white, but just some highlights. So, if you like my style, you can subscribe my channel. Over 800 videos there. And uh, see you soon. Bye.